I had to make sure I could actually see myself. Anyway, what's up guys? It's been a long ass time since I have made a video. And I'm kind of interested in starting something new with you guys. Give me a sec. Uh, Alright. I thought something that's really cool that I've always wanted to do and I think it would be cool for you guys because I could just show you guys around. Um, is try to find all the to like dope skate spots around where I'm living right now. Uh, I kind of felt like I was pigeonholing myself into just wanting to do some crazy things and I feel like I should start small. So today guys, I'm just going to be taking you guys to uh, fucking, oh, in this general area. So, one of the worst skate parks I've ever been to in my life. Um, here, uh, we'll read the reviews in a second. But today, we're going to Nor Point Skate Park. I've never been there, and I've seen it in a few clips for people, and I, I'm, I'm really interested. It's 3.48, it's gonna get dark in about two hours, so I don't really have much time. So today, we're going to Nor Point. All right, so I was hoping I could charge my camera all the way to 100%, but it is officially, let me see, let me just, Four, let's see, 407, and, you know, the most important thing for me is actually going out skateboarding. The video thing is second to that, so, yeah, let's do this. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Okay, so this is something. Uh, I started growing plants, or trying to grow plants at least, and I'm really embarrassed of the, the state that they're in. This one is Frankenstein. And it is, it's, it's been a challenge. This is my money tree, and it's, it's not doing so well. It's really not doing so well. Uh, and this is my only little All right, cool. That is good enough for now. Now, here's another dilemma I've kind of run into. I don't like the shoes I've been skating in. They kind of hurt my feet, but I don't really want to skate in my new ones. I think today, just for skating at least, we're gonna skate in the trusty vans. It's like, yo, nothing's worse than fucking, nothing's worse than hurting your feet when you skateboard. Like, literally, nothing is worse to me. Like, I cannot stand the skateboard and then bruise my feet. And I've done that too many times before. Anyway, I started to try to push myself to my limits. And, uh, on a dumb fluke, I, uh, really injured myself and tore my ACL and severed my MCL. Uh, it was a pretty big... Bummer. Pretty big bummer. I, uh... And so, all I've been doing this year is, I guess, taking it back to square one. I actually have a lot of fear, but taking it back to square one and trying to really get my fundamentals down so I don't make that mistake. Uh, getting my fundamentals down for me means, uh, Learning switch and learning fakie and knowledge, you know, just learning every trick and it's intended, or uh, like in every, op it's tr every, a trick and it's a trick in every orientation that it can be put in. So, switch, knowledge, fakie, and regular stance. So, E. I don't like skating with this thing. It's very embarrassing for me, uh, but my leg's been kind of hurting a little bit. I've been kind of neglecting physical therapy, which is all the recipe for re-injury. So I'm gonna just try to take it easy and try to slowly, but very surely, 
get back into skateboarding. It is, it feels like it's a bummer because this is actually, in all the years that I've skated, this is actually the first injury I ever got. And it's one of the worst injuries you can get, so. You live and you learn. So I lied, uh, we're not gonna go to North Point because it was a little bit crowded and I struggled with anxiety. This is actually my way of trying to get over my anxiety. Uh, so uh, maybe, maybe in a few more times of doing this, I'll be able to have the confidence to go out and skate in front of people again. But for now, ever since my injury, I've just been feeling really, really defeated. I mean, everybody takes, uh, everybody takes different things differently. I'm trying to not beat myself up about it, but I really developed a really big uh, amount of social anxiety because I kind of spent a year kind of away from people. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go to McKinley Park, which I'm gonna show you guys this skate park. I'm not gonna say anything about it before I show up, but uh, I'll let you guys form your own opinion on what you guys think the park is like. So. so the first weird feature of this skate park is this weird, like, bump to vert area. So anyway, first at McKinley Park, they have this weird bump to vert like area, which slogged my car. And I've never personally seen anyone do anything crazy on it. Uh, I don't want to try anything crazy on it, but it is kind of fun. But the sun is almost setting, so I'm gonna move on from the bump to vert to actually getting to the actual park section which is way down that way I don't know if you guys could see it let me it's kind of hard to work with this camera but yeah So this is McKinley Park, and as you can see, it's kind of an interesting park. When this first was here, there was no paint. There was, there was no paint, it wasn't all this, this fancy eye candy. But I don't know if you guys can see this. There's a lot of eye candy at this park, but there's not much actual stuff to do, actually stuff to do. Uh, I don't know if you can see this right here. Let me put the camera outside of the park for a second. Yeah, so anyway, I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me show you just for a physical representation that really has something for uh, perspective. I'm gonna use my board. So I don't know if there's a unit of measurement in board per board feet per, per second. But this is about five board, five and a half board lengths, the run up from to the, the wall, uh, which is kind of a sketch. Uh, it's a little like, I'm, I've never seen anybody do this shit before, but. So on this side, I don't know if you can see that there's like a, like a run up. 
and but they do have this thing this thing which is like they have ledges here and they're pretty good because uh, the sun is definitely setting now let me turn this down I feel like that's a true ISO. It's getting pretty dark out here, so, you know, we came to skate, not review. But anyways, you can see, as you can see, uh, not a very popular park. Oh, it's not a skateboard. specific feature at this park. I want to kind of hit the whole park so you guys can see like the flow of it and see what I mean about how why people don't really aren't big fans of it. I definitely said I wasn't going to say anything about this park. It's kind of fun. I like the ledges. I, th I like it for the ledges alone uh, and I feel like you know the better you get the better you could probably skate this park honestly but I wouldn't say it's an ideal skate park by any means. that hill flip you know something I was thinking about was that I assume that actually you know as I get better at no slides uh, front side let's see anyway. yeah as I get better at no slides because I'm pretty much the only slide I can like if I'll ever be able to like just fucking start from here and just You know, I wonder. Uh, that's kind of a goal. That's honestly kind of a goal to set for yourself. Like, what I learned at McKinley, one, McKinley is a park that you can't do much at, but I really realized that, like, since my injury, I really feel like I can't do much. I'm really scared. <laughs> um, so, I think all I have to do now is, I think, work on that. I think I have to get over this fear before I can progress again. Uh, yeah, so I think we're just gonna, I think what I'm gonna do for these whole things is really like get back to the basics with my skateboarding and uh, try to just learn the fundamentals the best way I can. Definitely. <laughs> 